Hello everyone, I am Dmitry Gerasimov, CEO of CellFrame Network and here is our regular MA session, the final one in the 2025. And let's begin from the questions that we have sent us before and the first one. The latest release of CellFrame Wallet 4.4 introduces the shared funds collective account functionality. Could you provide more details on the opportunities it offers to users and what purposes is the best suited for? Um, it's kind of a uh, DAO, uh, so it's a wallet, address wallet that's shared between uh, different owners, not the single one. There are, you can create the shared fund wallet, list all your owners, and the most important, you can set up uh, the threshold of the, or the uh, consensus level of your shared funds. What does it mean? Uh, it means a, a minimum number of uh, waters that would be enough to uh, release uh, funds from this wallet. For example, there are five owners and the consensus level is three. On your wallet, there is a million cell. If you want to sell, for example, 1000 cell to a friend, you need to collect three signatures from this shared wallet owners. That's how it works. You can invent a lot of uh, use cases for such thing. It could be collective uh, funds, it could be a uh, ad reserve address for restoring access if the first uh, address will be lost. Uh, it can be used for different purposes. For example, we use it for the bridge as well. We build bridge over this uh, functionality. Um, you can uh, try to imagine how it can work in your for your purposes as well. The next question: uh, How is the process of adding cell frame wallet to the App Store and Google Play processing progressing? Uh, where will the launch happen faster? I think it will be App Store because we're already testing it in the internal App Store and uh, we need just to send it for the um, review and it will appear. I think uh, we'll do it before the new year, maybe on Monday or Tuesday. I will, I will ask the team tomorrow about it. Uh, with Google Play it requires little more action because right now we have no active Google Play account so we need to create it in you, pass the checks and then repeat all this process so it will be after the new year holidays I believe. The next question, uh, the team has updated the bridge website design uh, making it more user-friendly, thank you for your feedback. Uh, what has changed under the hood? Uh, will the speed of bridge transactions also increase now? Uh, in the nutshell, uh, it, it was replacement of uh, minting and uh, uh, burning to the collecting on the shared uh, uh, wallets. It's a less secure scam, but uh, we uh, choose this uh, variant because we need it before we release uh, mm, dedicated uh, mission for internetwork connections. Uh, anyway, we achieved the highest level of security for such things, so I think it will be good enough. Um, it will increase uh, the stability speed. Uh, maybe yes, maybe yes. Uh, for them, for the quicker, uh, for the bigger speed, we propose another mechanism, in, it will be in the 6.0, uh, the next coming version of the cell frame, and it will have a quicker speed, bigger speed. Uh, for the current uh, bridge, um, I think speed will be the same, just uh, it, will, uh, it will be more stable, I believe. Uh, the next question, earlier this week, the partnership between cell frame and Nonos was announced. Uh, while this collaboration is uh, of strategic importance for the project as all, what advantage benefits can it bring to an ordinary user or a cell holder? Uh, such collaborations, it's more about technology exchange. So uh, first uh, they attract uh, technology people, uh, techno geeks, uh, 
developers, uh, uh, maybe some startups. I don't know. And uh, we more prob we pr uh, in this partnership we pr uh, propose our cryptography and some uh, technologies for dedicated networks. How it will impact? It will. Uh, Mm, it can attract more people in ecosystem. More people will know about the cell. It uh, propose uh, propagate uh, information about cell frame to people that doesn't uh, don't know anything about it. Maybe some of them will purchase some of cell uh, tokens. By the way, when we do such um, collaborations, usually I hear. I uh, hear such uh, words like, oh, uh, you also have a token, no, I will, uh, where can I purchase this? Uh, I uh, hear it often, uh, so when somebody purchase it, it uh, make price a little bigger, so for ordinary holder, it's more important. The next question, uh, when will the voting of the emission of validator what token for the next year be launched? Just after this AMA, uh, how will the issuance of these tokens be carried out? Um, it happens when you. It happens automatically in. Uh, um, it's dedicated minting, so we don't uh, mint it by ourselves. We just issue a so-called decree, uh, network decree that changes the uh, block reward. We can erase it, we can decrease it, uh, we can only decrease it. By the way, we have no me uh, mechanics to increase it, only to de decrease. And when we decrease, to just validator, we will get the less uh, reward, that's all. Uh, the next question, how is investigation in the incident with illegal M tokens progressing? Are there any interim results yet? Uh, it's almost over, but we now more focus it on technical uh, issues. We still working with our big technical debt. Unfortunately, we were working on this just when it happens, and when we had to issue some patches to make possible to unlock um, tokens uh, only illegal uh, outputs. We faced some troubles, and we still still reworking. Uh, code, we do refactoring. I think it's almost over, but why it's so long? Because uh, every time when we do some changes in code, we need to pass them through automatic testing, through uh, semi-automatic testing, through manual testing, and a lot of them. Some of automatic testing uh, uh, requires to run uh, uh, tens of uh, virtual machines, dockers, with nodes, so we need to emulate a uh, big uh, blockchain network. It also takes time, and uh, some of uh, um, some of such automatic testing we still had no. Uh, for the last few weeks, I uh, we finished uh, cell frame stage N with our new product for cell frame developers. Uh, it has its own uh, scenario languages for the testing scenarios. Uh, this thing should dramatically increase, uh, should dramatically decrease the time that we spent uh, on every um, full tests. Let's call them so, uh, full end-to-end -end tests, and uh, I believe will it will help us to finish not only these things but other as well and it should help our partners to pass their test quicker than they do it right now. So this investigation faced technical troubles and we're still working on with them briefly. Okay, the next question. Uh, how is the work on implementing the second tier of sharing advancing? Uh, will it be implemented with the Node version 6.0? Right now in 6.0 we are finishing the hard forking. It works well. Just we finish the last few tests and then we can complete it. Uh, 6.0 we are planning to release uh, maybe in January. It's also almost ready. 
However, uh, the second level of sharing goes to shift on 6.1. Yes, we have a hard fork in 6.0. Also, we are thinking to implement uh, a selling to uh, ability to bring uh, to uh, make so-called cells. It's uh, uh, homomorphic uh, mm, shards, second level shards. Um, however, it does not fit in 6.0, so it goes to 6.1, unfortunately. The next question, how will the TPS metric change with the launch of the two-tier sharding? After this, we can, uh, we can measure, it, measure it. Uh, do you have any forecast on this matter? What will be the order of uh, magnitude? Um, as I told before, uh, with two-level sharding, we, can, we, we have no limits. Just we can add additional shard and it will increase the total TPS. Yes, it, there, there will be limits on the lowest level uh, of shards, uh, maybe on the... It will be about thousands of transactions per second. However, it doesn't matter because matters only the total TPS. Total TPS will be unlimited. With the current uh, network, uh, we have about 100 uh, master nodes. Uh, they can form maybe about 10 cells, uh, but, but uh, I think it will be form just one cell uh, in about 100, maybe 1000. Look, we still have not overfilled just one uh, second uh, level shard. So for the current network, ever one shard is enough. For future, it will be more important for future, after quantum apocalypse. After quantum apocalypse, all the blockchain networks will be overloaded with uh, transactions ever if they will implement the post-quantum cryptography. And only the cell frame is ready for this and we should show uh, how quick we act in this new reality. Um, and then we'll see, I think it's happened in maybe 26 or 2027 or so. The next question, uh, how is the development of auctions progressing? Uh, what changes in the team facing with the development of this functionality? Uh, it's almost ready for launch. Uh, last time when I was asking for it was on the last stages of tests. So we were thinking to launch it right now, but then we have a Christmas, we have a New Year, so we postponed it on, uh, also after holidays. The next question. Uh, previously, you mentioned that the number of project slots will be limited to four. Uh, some uh, will be taken by ecosystem project and some will remain for new ones. If the demand is higher, uh, will you have the ability to add new slots? Uh, look, on the current moment, uh, I think it will be less than uh, 40 because um, you know it's limited with uh, uh, current throughput. If we'll have uh, fulfilled all the 40 slots, it means that every master node have to support uh, to be a full node in the 40 networks at the same time. I think we should reduce it to that maybe 10, maybe a little bigger. However, uh, we are going to prepare the new technology that will uh, limit the number of nodes that will work with uh, uh, inter, uh, inter network uh, transactions uh, with uh, specified cells. Uh, in only this uh, specified cell, cell is a second level shard, will work on inter uh, network transactions. If it works, we can have such partial consensus for interoperability and it will drop this limit at all. We will have no limit. I am still not sure if we will manage with this. Um, so unfortunately for now there is a limit. That's why we have auction because it's a limited resource. Other projects that, sh that, that want to be uh, on a backbone will require maybe some hierarchical um, connection. For example, they will connect not directly to the backbone network, they will connect maybe 
for some intermediate network. We'll think about it. For me, it's better idea to uh, make the specified uh, sales for this. The next question, what are the prospects for the debt cash project? Do you have any plans to revive it? Yes, debt cash now will be focused more on anonymous cryptography. Uh, it will be some kind of sandbox for coming uh, cell frame projects. It will have automated, it will have a fully automated uh, system of uh, adding of a new project connected to its uh, it will have no backbone, it will have a core network or something like this. So yes, uh, also after New Year holidays we'll announce it. The next question, the team announces the launch of the Ambassador program. Does the Ambassador's activity truly help in expanding the audience? It's not a silver bullet, but it helps, yes. At what stage of the project development is it uh, most significant? Um, Hard to answer. Maybe on the beginning, but it's still helpful, helpful on the current stage. So I don't know what to answer. <laughs> the next question. Uh, please share the team's plan for 2026 regarding the development of the mainnet and the ecosystem at all. Um, regarding the development of the mainnet, the main plan is to complete all the deliveries in 2026. It means that we should over the two-level sharing and uh, native smart contracts as well. And some other things, we should complete our all refactoring, we should issue as a new uh, API, uh, maybe some we, we could add some new languages in support, who knows. Uh, we'll publish it with more details, uh, I, because is, there are a lot of details, however, uh, most important things I just mentioned. Uh, about ecosystem, yes, we are planning to focus more on ecosystem on the next year than on our mainnet. Um, and uh, there we have some additional questions. Uh, let me uh, let me answer on them. The first additional question. You previously mentioned that the chain size uh, in a shard would be uh, 10 gigabytes. Uh, will the size be the same for all networks in the uh, ecosystem? Or will developers be ad, uh, able to adjust the size when launching their own parachain? Uh, this is a limit for the second level cell uh, that we're still in development. Uh, for developers that will be transparent, they will not see these limits. Uh, for So there is no sense to adjust the size. Yes, it's possible. Inside the inside other networks, it's up to the owners how will they will manage it. Uh, however, it's just recommended size to fit in uh, 16 gigabytes uh, uh, memory size. If you make uh, this cell size, uh, all the cell when where you are uh, master node, you should uh, keep it all in memory. So. It's not a good idea to enlarge it. And the second additional question. Uh, what do you think about the idea of integrated cell frame and the new uh, X42 payment standards? Sorry, don't know anything about the standard. <clears throat> Need to investigate it first. Okay, it was all the questions before. Unfortunately, we do it in reckoning, so I can cannot answer on the questions in chat. So... Uh, I wish you a uh, happy new year, Merry Christmas, see you the next year, goodbye, we are sell, we are here.